Hey guys, 2020 Eagle Man here, bringing you a brand new AVS video editor tutorial series. Um, as you can probably see, I'm in the AVS video editor 7.1, and if you guys haven't noticed, I have posted a videos, AVS video editor tutorial series, and it was pretty much kind of specific, kind of vague, in the way that I just introduced AVS video editor, kind of to beginners. So now, specifically, I'm going to go into detail of all the video effects. And I know some of the video, video effects are kind of the same, and they do have kind of the same functions and how they operate. However, I'm just going to give a quick video t tutorial on each every and every single video effect. So, to start us off, the very first video effect we have is the Sapia video effect. So, to start, let's just grab a background for us. Uh, probably some easy to use. Actually, let's not use a background. Let's use a video. So, let's just use this fog here. And we'll cut out the beginning, because the beginning is all black, so... We'll go to the video effects, and we're going to drag down our Sapia video effect into the video effect line. And you'll notice right away that the color of the video goes all the way to Sapia. And Sapia is pretty much just a tan, kind of brownish tan color. It has a little transparency to it. So like all video effects, you can drag it. You can also add certain layers to video effects. You can you know, duplicate it and add two at the bottom, which I'm not sure if you overlap two Sapia is what will happen. Yeah, nothing's about, nothing is going to happen if you overlap them. However, like all video effects, you can edit the effect, so here's what, how you can do to edit the Sapia effect and what will happen when you edit it. So this will pop up right away, and the first thing that's on top here is the mask option. If you have none, the entire video will be in the Sapia tone. However, if you go to rectangle, uh, you can adjust how you want your rectangle masked area to have Sapia, as well as the ellipse, which is just like an oval ellipse thing and the polygon we can, which you can make into whatever shape you want which is pretty cool I usually stick with the none option and so up here we have the level option and it goes from 0 to 100 and you can um, address it as to how how um, dense you want the sapia tone to be so if you have it at let's just say 50 you can see that only half of the amount of sapia tone is affecting the video kind of self-explanatory there um, as well as the brightness the brightness is default this is all default by the way default at 80 so if you bring up the brightness all the way to 100, it gets a little bit brighter. Bring it all the way down, it gets darker. Uh, it does affect the video if you change the brightness. So and the default is at 80. So let's just go back to 80. Uh, defaultness, the default is at 80 for brightness because it doesn't affect the actual video brightness and it doesn't affect the darkness. It just changes the color to adhere to the sapia tone. Now the sapia tone is actually determined by the red, green, and blue colors here. So you can see the red is 100, the green is 90, and the blue is 85. And by adjusting these, you can also adjust the actual color. See, if I lowered green down, it's more red and more blue. And when you combine red and blue together, it makes a fuchsia purple color. Since there's less blue in this one, it's going to be more red. And you increase the green, it gets to more sapia. And of course, if you take it all the way, it's just green and red, it'll make a more yellow color. And the same thing happens when you take away the red. Green and blue will make that teal color. So this is kind of like a colorized option. Um, not so much sapia. Sapia is kind of misunderstood. It's not actually sapia, if if that understands. And so you can just adjust these three main colors to make pretty much whatever color you want. You have to be a little... Um, it's a little tricky to kind of get what color you want. Of course, this isn't the best option to change colors. Of course, the default is just sapia. And there's a button down here that says reset to zero. It just resets everything so the entire screen is black, which I'm not, I don't really understand that. I don't know why you would reset it to zero, but if you just increase the level to 100, increase the brightness to about, I believe it was 80, and of course, and if you notice, it resets everything to zero. The red, green, and blue are at zero, which means that the entire screen is going to be black. So that will be like that. You see red is now 100, so the entire screen goes red, changes to 80, it was like that, and I forget what blue's color was. I, it was like, like four, it had a 5 at the end of it. Oh well, well, I don't remember, but something like that. So that is the sapia. Pretty much it. Um, as you can also notice, you can put it into a fade in and fade out option using these buttons down here, which you can also view how to do um, all the video effects, the general idea of the video effects, in my other tutorial series that I produced. So as you notice in the video, it will slowly fade into the, the Sabia tone, and it will slowly fade out, which is pretty cool. And so that's pretty much it about Sapia. Not much to talk about. It is just a color scheme that changes. It doesn't actually affect the, the video itself, um, except for the colors. So hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, if you guys have any questions at all, please do feel free to ask. I will have plenty more video effect uh, tutorials coming out, so stay subscribed to view those, and I will see you guys later.